Oh, we are making something really fabulous, kind of intricate. We're making what? A pistachio encrusted lamb chop, right? Yes, Chef? with a bit of goat cheese. I love it. You know, this is one of those recipes that, to me, seems a little complicated, but is it really? No, it's not. No. The, the, the only when you work it with him. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> other than that, um, uh, this is a, this is a great dish for just you know for the for the two of you at home. Okay. I mean, this so is, what do we have? You got some beautiful lamb chops. Uh -huh. yeah, you want you want to make sure that they're nice and thick. You know. Uh, we have some goat cheese from Vermont. Mm. I crushed you drove up all the way to get it? Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, Isn't and it I crushed up I some pistachios. Uh -huh. We got a little fresh thyme, some, some roasted garlic that we're, we're going to mix with the chevre cheese. Okay. And we're going to add some figs to the de for the demi glace. And then I see Joe eating something out of that uh, pot over there. What's I don't that? even know what this is, what but is I am mean? like starving, and I don't <laughs> even know how it got in the pan, and it's great. And I got Z1 from France. Oh, 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 I'll take that away from you. No. <laughs> we'll talk about that in our next segment. we got to wait for the wine, all right, Joe? Oh. All right, Chef, you started going here in the kitchen. Get that fired up, and we'll right. set. Oh, and we get some nuts in the kitchen, and I'm not talking about these guys. We're <laughs> using pistachios to encrust our lamb chops today. Yes, we are. And we're going to start searing these chops. They look so good, yes. John. All right. We're going to go with some olive oil in the pan. Okay. EVOO, extra right. virgin olive oil. Mm -hmm. All right. And get Let it you, sizzling. Right. We want a salt and pepper. I'm using sea salt. Okay. Because that's the fad. That is the fad. But it's good. <laughs> People no, it's wonder good what I you. do here. It's just to make sure. Look at him. He's right. all into this. Yeah, supervisor. Oh, look Whoa. at this. Uh, that's what you're looking for. Okay. You want to get uh, you want to get a uh, that's going to give you a nice sear on it. It's going to lock all the juices in. Yeah. And what you're going to do is you're going to finish this dish in the oven. Oh, okay. So you right? finish cooking it in there. So let me just explain to you when you come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to make a mix of the goat cheese with the roasted garlic and the fresh thyme, and we're going to dip it into the pistachios. We have already roasted the pistachios, so we don't have to worry about cooking the pistachios. Okay. All right. And so we're going to put everything together later with a demi glace with some figs in it. Mm. So we're going to have a nice fig sauce around and it. And finally, we get to use this. We get to use that side dish that we've been talking and about. And the wine. And the wine. All right. Well, we're going to wrap this all up in just a few minutes. Now Welcome back in the Rocho Kitchen. The gloves are on. We're ready to go. Putting the touches on our encrusted lamb chops. Right. All right. Let's hey, get started. You're going to encrust the lamb chops. Okay. And, and first, before you do that, what we're going to do is we took some demi glace, which you can use brown sauce at home. Okay. You, you know, a, a brown gravy mix. Mm hmm. Uh, Put a little port wine in it with some shallot and reduce it down by half. Okay. And now what you're going to do is we're going to take a couple about that size. Okay. I'm going to throw it in. Some scoops of this is fig, right? This is a fig jam. Mm -hmm. now, now when you put this with port wine, port wine oh, for the viewers out there is very sweet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Here's what we're. we're so once you've cooked well. that down, yeah. Right, what you're going to do is you're going to take the lamb. Mm -hmm. Take it right by the little handle, okay. and you're going to paint it. Oh. What we're going to do is going to add that to that. This so to this. you got the roasted garlic. Right, let me put this back. Yep. Okay. you got roasted garlic. Mm hmm And we're putting this in our goat cheese. Right. Okay. And you're going to add a little fresh thyme to that. Okay. How's that? That's fine. Okay. Very beautiful. Now mix that up. Mm-hmm. Yummy, yummy. And you're going to paint the lamb with that. I love it. Painting the lamb. All right. Let's grab a chop. And just one side or both? Both sides. Both? Oh, I am a good. true. What, what, what? I am a true artiste. Look yeah. at that. Well, oh, comfort food at the highest order. Look at that. Red All right, maybe I'm not much. a true artist. It's a little gloppy there. Yeah, Is that and, too much? Yeah, just try it nice and smooth. The one amount of height. There you go. Okay. Now dip it in the nuts. Okay. Now you're really doing something. I really you know feel like saying? I am. This is great. Wow. Shake it off. Okay. No, I don't even bother shaking it off. Now no? here's what we're gonna do. Yep. We're gonna dress the plate with this carrot, mm -hmm. uh, sweet potato. And regular potato mixture. Oh, yeah. Right? Yep. That's super easy to make. Okay, you're Just gonna boil pop it that and up put on, it there. on there. Okay. Ooh. Yep. And you're gonna make one more chop if you want. Oh, I'd love to. And while I'm doing that, right? Joe, let me right. let me hear about your wine that you okay. brought in here. Of course, we have lamb, and we have this beautiful encrustment that the chef has put on it. So mm -hmm. today we're going to France for the wine. This is Cote du Rhone. Okay. This is a wine just like the Italians have Chianti, and there are many different types of Chianti. Yeah. Well, the Rhone Valley in southern France has six thousand vineyards. Wow. And you're ready. It's my kind of place. Yeah. And and they produce four hundred million bottles of wine a year. Whoa. Cote du Rhone is a this beautiful blend here. They make all different types, but this blend is. Grenache grape, uh -huh. and what gives it the oomph that's going to um, complement the sauce, and because you need something full yeah. body to stand up here, is, is Syrah. And oh, it's okay. a blend of these two. You can find this beautiful wine at my friend Mark Gasparro's. You know that 
13 bucks. Not That's all great. French wine is uh no. and this is a beautiful elegant wine and mm -hmm. it's got a little substance and while I got the floor I want to tell our friends in the audience yes. that I have a brand new edition of TV Maitre D this Sunday morning nice. for 8 years you know where you can find that uh -huh. and we are at Centro. This is going to be the new other than Camille's mm -hmm. the new hot spot in Providence, you got to trust me, and all, all right. kinds of great stuff. And you know Sounds that's good, Joe. We'll yeah. have to check it out. That's great. And then we're going back okay. to our oh. little, look at that sauce. You want to finish it with the sauce? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joe, it's look okay. This, huh? We'll get you a fork. All right. Although I used it for our garlic. And that's then do you right. you don't need to put it back in the oven because we no. had already done that before, so it's all set. And you can go to town. Ooh, I'm going to try that. Knife there? Yeah, I'm going to try the chop after because I don't think I'm going to be able to chew the chop. <laughs> oh, isn't that oh, the chop good. is very tender. It's been resting. No, I'm sure it it's is. It's very important that, that you cook Ooh. the chops about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. medium, medium rare. Yep. And to let them let them stay out at room temperature after you take them out of the oven for about five minutes. Okay. So what happens is everything just rests and it becomes much more tender. Much more tender. I'm sure it's fabulous. I'll try it during the break. Yes. Get my thumbs up on that. Joe, thank Dino. you very much, John. Have a great a weekend over at Camille's.